Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video. Now I love my car, I really do. In fact, I'm on my way to go take some pictures right now. But no car is perfect, and so that's why in this video I thought that I would go over the top five things that I can't stand about this car. Now, if you like this video, be sure to hit that like button down below and subscribe. Now, I'm going to say it again. I absolutely love this car. Uh, I really do. This is by far my favorite car. And a lot of the things that I'm going to talk about are fixable. I mean, they're not anything that you can't change. It's just, I wish it was like this from the factory. All right, so number one has got to be the limited slip or lack thereof. Now I can understand not putting a limited slip on a stock car, but when you pick out the M Sport package and you're spending 80 grand, I would think that BMW would have made it an option at least to put in a limited slip. But instead we're stuck with the electronic limited slip and it's good, but I mean it's not the real thing. So that's one thing that I am going to change on this car is I will be putting in a limited slip diff. All right, now number two on the list has got to be the charge pipe. Now why BMW decided to put on a plastic charge pipe is beyond me. I've heard of these things cracking or popping off at normal boost pressures. I'm surprised I haven't had any issues running the M power pack. So that's why before any performance tuning happens, a little preventative maintenance. I'm going to replace the charge pipe and the boost pipe with something a little more substantial. All right, now number three is the tiny intercooler. Now, this intercooler is probably fine if you live in Alaska or you don't drive your car with any enthusiasm, but come on, BMW, this is an M Sport. This intercooler when you drive it the way it's meant to be driven it gets heat soaked really quick especially in raleigh with summer months it gets really hot it gets really humid it gets heat so quick and so when i do the charge pipe and boost pipe that's another thing that i'm going to be swapping out is i'm going to put in a much larger intercooler and that's going to help keep these temps down all right, now number four are the LED tail lights, or should I say the lack thereof. Now I already swapped mine out, or I should say I swapped out the bulbs. I didn't swap out the actual housing. But this car has full LED. It's got LED headlights, LED turn signals, LED fog lights, LED reverse lights. But the fact that BMW didn't put LED tail lights really shows that they were trying to cheap out and save money. So, like I said, I swapped out the bulbs for LEDs. It wasn't that hard. It's not a big deal, but it's just, it's something that should have been there from the start. All right, now number five is the air scarf. Now this car is fitted with an air scarf, and for those of you that don't know what that is, it's a little vent that sits right back there by your neck on the two front seats, and it blows air at temperatures anywhere from warm to lava hot on your neck and back. Now what it doesn't do is it doesn't blow cold air. There's no option for you know, any sort of cooled air to blow on the back of your neck. And for that matter, the seats aren't cooled either. You get heated seats, but there's no option for cooled seats. And I think that that was kind of a misstep on BMW. They should have put that option in there. All right, well that about wraps it up. And again, it was extremely difficult to come up with this list of five things. And you better believe that there's gonna be another video out with the top five things that I love about this car. And that video is gonna be hard for a totally different reason. I'm gonna to have to pare down to only five things that I love about this car. 
Now, if you like this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe down below. And again, I'm Steve. I want to thank you for watching F33. Take care.